Mobile Rob. I've made it so that this planet has a moon orbiting it. Huh? Orbiting? Huh? What am I doing? I didn't mean you orbit. The word orbiting means to circle around something, like a planet. Oh, well, you know what's gonna circle around this mobile? The comet I'm about to make. Uh, once I figure out what a comet looks like. I know. My grandpa told me all about comets. They kind of look like big snowballs flying through space. I even saw one once. Huh? Wow! I'd love to see a comet! Me too! How great would that be? We can find one with my grandpa's old telescope. Sometimes I use it to look at my home planet, Green Dax 5. Maybe we should go someplace where we can get a better view with your telescope. That sounds like we have a mission, and you know what that means! Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Someplace where we can see a comet with Emma's telescope. That sounds like a cosmically cool idea. Let's see where you can go. <laughs> the monkey planet! Oh, I love monkeys. But they're so cute, it'll be hard to look at anything else. <laughs> the toolbox planet! My kind of place. But we won't find any comets there. Astronomy planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. be needing it. What do you mean, that old thing? There's nothing wrong with my grandpa's telescope. Oh, um, I'm sure it's fine and everything, but look at this one. It's just so much better. Yeah, a comet is going to look awesome through this thing. And so will your home planet. I guess. Whoa, cool. A moon. We've gone to all kinds of planets before, but never a moon, and it looks so close. That's the beauty of telescopes. They make far away things look close up. <gasps> Amazing! Okay, let's reset it so we can see my home planet, Green Dax 5. Um, how do we change? 
change its direction. These levers. This one moves it up and down. And this one, left and right. Huh? Move it to the side. The entire observatory turns. Cool. <gasps> the comet light. That must mean a comet is about to pass by. But we were about to look for my home planet. We will. But that comet might only be in range for a short time. We don't want to miss it. <laughs> No, it's not up there. Here, I'll help you find it back. Oh. Maybe this way? Oh, go back, go back. Over here. Over here. Uh-oh. What's your job, Oh, here, I can fix it. I think I know what's wrong. another telescope to use. Of course! We can use your grandfather's telescope. This old thing? You don't want to use this. It's so small and old. Please, Emma. I'm sorry. Please share it with us. <laughs> I'm only kidding, you guys. Of course you can use it. <laughs> this should be the right angle. Oh, no! It's dark, too! Oh, the lens cap's on. <laughs> no wonder. Huh? The lens cap? <gasps> Maybe that's what's wrong with the big telescope! <laughs> yeah! It worked! Wow! There's the comet! Amazing! Mind if I take a look? Don't you want to use the big telescope now that Rob fixed it? I could, but your little telescope is great too. It is, and it's special because it reminds me of my grandpa and of my home. Speaking of home, Green Dax 5. <laughs> it is! How did you know that was my home planet? <laughs> Lucky guess. <laughs> Rockin' robots! We got to see a comet and Emma's home planet. I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Careless and accidental. 
accidentally broke the giant telescope. We almost missed seeing a comet. Then we remembered Emma brought her grandfather's telescope. It worked great, and it showed us that old things can work just as well as new things. And they can be extra special, too. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Buckle up. Bye.